being or human or animal on the face of the earth. So it's like that saving blood was placed in each race. And, and there's just few people that are there to save each race if they need it. The universal, universal lifeline. I find that really interesting. The really interesting thing about RH negative people is that when a mother ends up becoming pregnant, what happens is, is if the baby is positive, it's like the mother's body automatically wants to expel the positive blooded baby and, um, because it's like a foreign object in the mother's body. And so her body will start fighting the rhesus factor. And that's why they end up giving a um, mother that has an RH positive child in her womb, they will give her a Rogam shot, which protects the child from being destroyed and will also protect the mother from the intermingling of the blood, which will cause the mother to die. And there's a disease that's caused by the blood mixing with the O negative mother. Um, I'll have to, I, I think it's hemolactic or something like that disease. But if a mother is pregnant with a O negative baby or a negative baby um she won't expel that baby it's not a foreign object in her body and and this is really interesting there are attributes of people that have the rh negative blood and they all have similarities and the similarities of the bloodline of the o negatives is that they either have blonde, um, red, or they could even have black hair, but they, they mainly have like blue eyes or green or hazel eyes that change colors. They have like low blood pressure and they have really good eyesight and they have good hearing. They also have a very high IQ and they are interested in the phenomenons like uh, paranormal activities. They are interested in UFO connections or psychic capabilities. They are interested in spirituality. And they also feel like they have a sense that they do not belong here or belong to the human race. And they also sometimes have extra ribs or an extra vertebrae. They are empathetic um, to illnesses. They have compassion for mankind. They have a sense of a mission in life. And they also sometimes feel that they um, do not belong to this world or they disrupt, it states that they disrupt electrical appliances. What my friend's stating is that all blood's the same and that we all came from the animal kingdom. But as far as this blood type, this blood type has nothing to do with the animal kingdom. This blood type has nothing to do with, obviously, this earth. And that's why they can't find it. And that's why, why um, scientists are stumped because they can't find it. So is this the missing link? Are these people the sons of God? Are the people with the O negative blood type from the line of Adam. Are these the people that are the special line 
that it talks about in the Bible. I, I find this really interesting. And this has nothing to do with uh, racial stuff. So I don't want people thinking that this is being racist. This is just, we're just talking about blood types and factors. In the science community. I believe that all of the O negative people are being linked keeping tabs on these people that have this bloodline and because the, it is an important bloodline and and it's it's the only type of blood that can be given to all it's really interesting this is so amazing I, this is such a deep subject you can go all kinds of places with this it, it, are they like star star children are they holy people that it speaks about because you know i i've gone really deep into the bible and genesis and how a lot of things even outside the bible actually correlate to the beginning of man and all this other stuff and it's really interesting in the mesopotamian tells about how they had created the adamu which they called him adamu and this was the first one that they made. And they made him from the clay or the ground. And it states that mankind was created in clay vessels. And that they had taken the this animal that walked upright, that could carry baskets, and fashioned man from this upright carrying basket called the Lulu Emilu. I find this really interesting, which would have been like an upright walking ape. And then there's another story of the story of Adapa, which was literally God's son that ended up um, being told in the ancient Mesopotamian tell that he was not to eat of the tree of life and death. And, and it takes you right back to the story of the Garden of Eden. And what's really interesting about this is that I've actually made some videos on this where Ningishida is supposed to, you know, he's called the serpent of the good tree. And then we have... Adapa that was told by his lord Aya not to eat of the tree. So he didn't. And it's the same thing that except in a different way that was spoken of in the Genesis of um the first five books of the Bible, the Pentateuch. Eventually, I will get around to this again, but I just find this interesting how this bloodline comes from there. So some people um, also try to proclaim that the descendants of Cain, um, Cain is supposed to have been the son of the devil or Satan, I should say. And that his mother was Eve. But I, I have to disagree with that because in this instance, um, if you actually understand about the ancient tale of Adam and Eve, you would know that it's actually related to a creation story where Ninti, which is called Lady Rib, is the mother of them all. And Ninti is a goddess. Ninti was um, the spouse of Ea. And it actually corresponds with the Apsu and, and Tiamat. It goes down the line, but it's, it was actually Anki and Nama. 
it's really interesting. I put out a video on this um, about the creation and all this stuff and, and about Adam and Eve. It's called Anunnaki Gods. Um, who is Apsu, Abzu, Ea, Ea, Anki? It's really interesting. But let me get back to the blood. Um, some people try to say that these people are reptilians and that because they have this blood type, I, I just think that's absolute nonsense to the people that have this agenda with reptilians and, you know, they're trying to state that the people that have this blood type has something to do with the children of Satan. And um, if that's the case, that, that people with this universal blood that saves people has anything to do with Satan, I'd have to completely disagree because if they have universal blood for all to save mankind, I believe there are special people. Some people believe in aliens or I would call them sons of God because God in the Bible states that there are sons of God. These are the ones that in, in, in the Hebrew Bible states that he chose them. They did not choose him. He chose them because he created them and he, he, he chose a particular people to be there for himself and that they were supposed to be a peculiar people. And I believe it's in Deuteronomy, if I remember correctly, right off the top, a peculiar people unto him. Now, this is very peculiar that these people have O negative. So these people are supposed to be peculiar. And like I said, that um, the Bosques in Spain and southern France, and then we have England, then we have um, Australia and Canadians and Americans, Ireland, um, and then we also have the Jews. They have this blood and, and people have to realize that they spread out. But anyway, I just wanted to make this really quick because I just wanted to let my friend know that he's incorrect when he says that all blood types are the same, that all of our bloods are the same. It doesn't matter if you're RH negative or RH positive, that we're all the same. We bleed the same blood. That is not true. That is the furthest from the truth there is. And it has nothing to do with racism. It has to do with the fact of the RH factor and the missing factors. The fact is that the RH positive factor shows a linking to the animal kingdom, which shows that it has a relation with the primates but the RH negative does not. And that's the mystery. All right. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this and I will talk to you later. I hope you, um, if you have any questions, you know, this is a really interesting subject. I love these kind of subjects. It's, uh, you know, I don't have all the answers to this. I just find this really fascinating about this bloodline. Anyway, I hope you guys have a great day. I will be talking with you soon. This is NQ35.